Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illness and are transmitted between animals and people. Now, common signs of coronavirus include fever, cough, shortness of breath and or difficulty in breathing. In more severe cases, the infection can cause pneumonia and severe acute respiratory syndrome along with kidney failure and even death. As coronavirus and the panic of it continues to spread across India and globally, there are also a lot of bogus claims and misinformation about the disease. In India, Government of India leaders including Home Minister Amit Shah are having meetings on coronavirus prevention and are also appealing to citizens to take precautions. Union Minister Harsh Vardhan has confirmed 28 positive cases of coronavirus in India as of March 4, 2020. PM Modi has already taken a meeting with health leaders and experts on preparedness. Hi, my name is Priyanka Deo from New India Junction. Now, instead of panicking, as India does have a problem with overcrowded places, here's some well-researched truth about the coronavirus, myths debunked and best practices you can adopt to prevent it from happening to you. Let's have a look. Myth number one, pets. According to the World Health Organization, there is no evidence that companion animals or pets like cats and dogs can be infected with the coronavirus. But it is a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after contact with your pets. This prevents you against getting common bacteria on your hands like E. coli that can pass between humans and animals. Myth number two, vaccines. Vaccines against pneumonia do not provide protection against coronavirus. But according to the World Health Organization, a vaccination against respiratory illnesses is highly recommended to protect your health. Currently, researchers are trying to develop a vaccine to specifically treat coronavirus. Myth number three, antibiotics. Antibiotics do not work against the coronavirus. According to the World Health Organization, antibiotics should not be used to prevent or treat coronavirus unless you receive antibiotics because of a bacterial co-infection. Myth number four, age. People of all ages can be infected by coronavirus. Older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions like asthma and heart disease appear to be more vulnerable to a more severe form of coronavirus. Good hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene is recommended for all ages by the World Health Organization. Myth number five, medicine. To date, there is no specific medicine to prevent or treat coronavirus. However, the World Health Organization recommends that those infected with coronavirus should relieve and treat symptoms with appropriate care. Currently, specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested through clinical trials. With coronavirus now in multiple countries, including confirmed cases in India, the World Health Organization recommends several best practices to take care of and protect your health. Here's what you can do. Number one, wash your hands frequently and often. Use an alcohol-based hand wash or soap. This kills viruses that may be on your hands. Two, maintain distance. Keep at least one meter or three feet of distance between you and anyone who is coughing and sneezing. The reason, when someone coughs or sneezes, liquid drops from their nose or mouth may contain the virus and come onto you. If you're too close, you can breathe it in. Avoid handshaking as well. This is a good time to use Namaste. Number three, avoid contact with your eyes, nose and mouth. Your hands, which touch different surfaces throughout the day, may pick up the virus and can transfer it to your eyes, your nose and your mouth. This is especially if you're traveling or around people in workspaces. Number four, respiratory hygiene. Cover your mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing and wash your hands after. Number five, medical attention. Stay at home if you're feeling unwell and if you're experiencing fever, cough and breathing difficulties, go to a doctor immediately. Better to be safe than sorry. There you have it, what you need to know about the coronavirus. Do not panic, but do remain safe. It's also important to stay updated on the coronavirus from national and credible authorities and follow advice from your healthcare provider directly. For New India Junction, this is Priyanka Deo, signing off.